So the question I really want to pose to you today, the question I want to pose is who are you really? Who are you really? We often think we're making free choices. We often think we have free will, but we don't realize consciously or unconsciously, we don't realize that we are conditioned, that we are programmed, 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 just operating on a programming, a set rhythm, a set pattern, a set groove, a set rhythm, a set pattern, a set groove that goes all the way back to childhood, 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 childhood. If you look at children, if you look at babies, a child is in touch with their essence. A child is in touch with their soul. They have not been conditioned, they have not been programmed. A child will jump on a table naked and dance and sing and be completely free. Yet, as we go through life, as we enter this matrix of life, we start getting conditioned, we start getting hypnotized by the media, by school, by society, by our parents. We begin to disconnect from our essential nature, we begin to disconnect from our soul, disconnect from our spirit, disconnect from our light, in order to fit in, in order to function, in order to survive, in order to be loved, in order to be approved. And this disconnection creates a pain. And I think deep within us, deep within each and every one of us, we can feel this disconnection. We can feel this disconnection. Disconnection, disconnection, disconnection. The source of so much suffering today is we have become distracted and disconnected from who we are. Who we are. Many of us, we're asleep. We're sleepwalking in the mall of life. We're sleepwalking in this matrix. Sleepwalking, not realizing we're asleep. Asleep, 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 asleep. The matrix, the matrix. We're living in the matrix. It's the matrix of conditioning. We're living in the matrix. Tricks, 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 matrix. In the matrix, matrix. Constantly sold, being bombarded, so bombarded, much noise, bombarded, that disconnection. Bombarded. In fact, the media has an investment in distracting you from your message self. after message. 5,000 channels. How many television channels can you actually watch? There's 5,000 channels, 500 social media networks, movies, magazines, media everywhere, noise all around. You are constantly being distracted from yourself. From yourself, from yourself, from yourself. The distraction is all around. All message around. after message, all you around. just happen. drink like this beer. Like if you just wear this underwear, if you just drive this car, if you just wear these clothes, you just do this or do that, then you'll finally be okay. Be okay. Be okay. Be okay. We're constantly being sold this lie that who you essentially are is not enough. That who you essentially are is not okay. This is the Illusion, 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 Ill, 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 this is the illusion, this is the lie that the matrix is constantly bombarding us with, this is the illusion, 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 as children since we're so open, since we're so impressionable, we often take on this message to be reality and before you know it, we start getting locked in to a prison of a mask, a prison of a personality, personality, personality. And we live our life inside of a groove, a groove of this is me, a groove of this is who I am. We cultivate a five step dance rhythm that we think we are. Go to work, make money, eat, sleep, have sex. Go to work, make money, eat, sleep, have sex. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we call this me. We brush our teeth in the box, put our food in the box, drive to work in the box, work in the box, type on the box, speak in the box, drive home in the box. We sit in front of the box for four hours a day. And we do this over and over and over and over again. Over again. What if there was so much more to who you were? What if who you truly are was beyond definition? Beyond definition, beyond definition, beyond definition. Your freedom starts when you can start letting go of your identities, when you can loosen the grip, when you can loosen the hold. What if you didn't realize that perhaps beyond this five-step personality, beyond this groove that you've been conditioned into, 
that there were maybe six steps, seven steps, eight steps. Perhaps you could do that. Perhaps you could do that. Perhaps you could do all these crazy things that you weren't aware of because you got so conditioned into one, two, three, four, five. This is me. What identities are you locked into? What identities are you imprisoned by? What identities are inhibiting and limiting the freedom of the expression of your being? The freedom and the infant expression of life seeking to express itself through you. Find out who you really are. Find out who you really are. Each moment of life is an invitation. Each moment of life is an opportunity to wake up. Each experience, each relationship, everything you go through is simply an invitation to realize, to recognize more and more of who you truly are. Even if it's a challenging experience, it's inviting you back to yourself. Use every experience, use every opportunity, use everything you go through to connect more to who you are. We are here on planet Earth at this time to realize, to recognize, to remember, to wake up. Are you ready to wake up? This is our destiny. Your true identity is infinite, perfect, whole, complete. You are pure consciousness. You are love, freedom, awareness itself.